Hello, it is I, the one and only Dragon Team Maurice, back from that asset we're bringing you all some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. In the last part, we were able to beat the first gym and make our way to Cerulean City. Hopefully in this part, we will be finishing up the SSN. However, we have a few things to get ready first. First of all, a little quick team update. We have Ratsguard. The Raditza Raditza Fusion. I actually unfused the Hoot Hoot Raditza Fusion and fused them both together just because... This is the way we can have another fusion. Uh, Butterball, lovely the Butterfree, Zubat fusion, Lucky, the Marsh Top Natu fusion that we got from Wonder Trade. <clears throat> Belly the Bell Sprout, which we got from a trade from a Spiro. Um, Ivysaur, obviously, and obviously King Fist or Nidorino Mankey fusion. Um, I haven't evolved this yet. Why haven't I evolved this yet? I think I want to move or something, so I'm not going to evolve at this part either. Maybe before the third gym we'll evolve it. But, I'm grinding up everyone to level 15. Uh, I'll be starting Kingfish level 16 and 18 respectively. And then we have everyone else over here. We have our Hoot Hoot, our Puku Muku, our Spiro, and our Magikarp. Which, honestly, I probably should have trained with the Magikarp, but... I did what I could. I think the first thing we should probably do is actually probably talk to a lot of the NPCs here just to see what they can give us, if anything. Look here, a joke? Sure! What is that Pokemon fan's favorite city to go to in France? Paris. Sure. Back when I hear another joke, mm hmm. Uh, trade me a grass type for my Squirtle. Ooh, um, we already have a Bulbasaur, so we don't have any use for Belly. But let's wait to see if we catch another Grass type. Bulbasaur Oak, starter, uh-huh. Learned a special move, especially made for a starter Pokemon. Teach it to you for 500 if you want. Ah, the Pledge moves, okay. Uh, hello, Professor. We're in Professor Oak's assistance. The professor has tasked me with giving you this item. If you fuse Pokemon at least five times, let me have a look. If you fuse Pokemon a grand total of two times, mm, that's no good. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't really have anything else to fuse right now, so, uh... You... There have been reports of criminal activity in Mount 5. They're currently investigating the situation. Sorry, we're not have to go here at the moment. All right, understandable. Electro Bow rollout. I've used Electro... Oh, sorry, Electro Bow. Slow roll like fast Pokemon to offset its weakness. Misty won't stand a chance against me. You think you can beat me? Pfft, I'd like to see you try. Uh, no. Gotta save your strength of Misty. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Have I met before? Uh, I brought back this special flute for my travel. Show me the city's badge and it's yours. I wonder if it's the... other flute. Whoa. Uh, we needed a place to monitor operations at Mount Moon, so we trashed this house and claimed it for ourselves. I recognize you from Mount Moon, go away. We took the house, it's our temporary HQ now. I have a leftover Moonstone from our job on Mount Moon, I don't need it, I'll sell it to you if you want. 6k? Uh, nah, I'm good. I already have a Moonstone, so I'm fine. Um, there is a hotel here we should probably check out, I'll check out after... ...see all the NPCs. Love to see exotic Pokemon, I'll give you something you can show me a... I'll give you something if you can show me a Pokemon that's native to the Johto region. What do you say? Okay. Um, I don't... Not right now. I have a Hoot Hoot though, so I can do that. It's embarrassing, I'm completely in love with this girl. I've been wrote her a love letter. Who should I give her in person? Uh, sure, where is she? And one of the routes next to Cerulean City. Okay. Do you have a fishing rod? Sorry, Riffy, can I help you? We don't have a fishing rod. Unfortunate. I'll come back when I have a fishing rod then. Yep, there you go. Here's Hoo Hoo. Fresh as exotic. Show me a Pokemon I've never seen before. They are everywhere at night. Oh, early for a wool store. That's. Could be some money, actually. 
Ooh, this is slightly different. Mm. Ruiz! He's still struggling back here. I'm doing great. I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon here. Let me see what you got, Ruiz. Okay. Um, I should be able to beat you. I'm like level 15, level 16, level 18. It should be possible. Nidato, you're level 20. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, that's always going to do 18. Unfortunately, I actually has a way past my uh, Lee Cheese shenanigans. Release this is... Yeah, just use bite and finish me off. There you go. Alright. Well, they went all my money. Thorns of Flight. Okay. Or Thorns of Flight? Or Thorns of Light. <laughs> that is Thorns of Flight. Okay. <sighs> okay, so we either have the two headed. Oh, that's actually a neat. Like chunky eradicate. There's also this one that has like the shiny and that. It's also that one, but I, I I think I like the one from Toasted Goose. Oh wait, what the heck? Oh, these are also made by Toasted Goose. Ooh, do I like that one or? I think I like this one from Toasted Goose. Eradicate the mouse mouse Pokemon normal type feet two feet. Four inches, forty point eight pounds. Eradicate sturdy fangs grow steadily. Okay, it's just a normal eradicate. Like explanation. He's on rats guard. Alright, you son of a bitch. It's round two, and this time I'm actually leveled. Level 20. Uh, come on, Azubat's faster, right? Hey, Azubat is faster. Decent super effective damage. Uh, Fury attack. Um, actually, thankfully, you don't actually have any... Well, if you attack four times, it's still going to hurt like a bitch, but I was going to say you don't have any flying type moves, so you can't really hurt Butterball. Uh, hit twice. I call hacks. Anyways. Um, I have to switch for the next best bet. We're probably about to use a super potion, so I'm just gonna like leech seed you. Yeah. Get that leech seed off, get that growl. Poison stain's not gonna do anything, I can't be poisoned. So I'll just growl all your damage away as I slowly heal it all back up. Fury attacks is still gonna hurt. Yeah, fucking crit. Are you kidding me? This is why we're growling, folks. Because he's getting four to five times. Because, you know, of course he is. Why, 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 why would a fairy attacker get, you know, four to five times? Oh, no. Uh, the focus energy ain't good. Okay, I'm gonna slowly just start chipping away at you. I know this is four times effective, but I mean, any bit of damage counts. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop. Stop it. Thank you. My focus and energy really ain't doing shit for you. I, I have to say. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, two times, finally. Oh. Uh, Matata. Can I just leech seed Razor Leaf you? I'm not gonna switch out, there's no point in me switching out. Um, I, cause I know you have Seismic Toss. Which is bad. Yeah, that's always gonna do 18. However, I think, yeah, I guess I'll damage you. Good, good, good. 
Uh, then here, Squirt Melian, uh, we're still going to try to set up a Leech Seed. <clears throat> just because that's just a good thing to do. It's going to set up its speed. Ooh, we're going to try to Leech Seed again. Thank you. Get some healing back. Do you not have a fire type move? You should have a fire type move by now. That flinch is very unfortunate. I think that is Ivy Sword down for this fight. Unless, okay, good, good, good. We had a lot of good chip damage. Ivy Sword is indeed coming through. Do you not have like a fire type move? Because, I mean, if you don't, I'll finish you off with Belly. Yeah, another, you know, Grass-type. Set up. Wow. So, like, Withdraw, Rapid Spin, Bite. Is your other move, like, Water? Yeah, that. Plus the Wrap damage. Yeah, Bite's still gonna hurt, but, I mean, Vine Whip's neutral and Belly just took you out. Look at Belly. Freaking belly striking a pose on your ass. Okay, uh, Abra, I don't think Abra can do much. Yeah, you're just gonna spam teleport. This is just for experience for belly. Thank you. Honestly, if we can get an Abra and we can catch that thing, <sighs> that would be insane. Off to Vermilion, smell you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me go heal now. Yeah, it's gotta beat the five of you. Easy peasy, especially if you're a bug catcher. <sighs> Bugcatcher, meet King Fist Peck. Insane move. There you go. Mm -hmm. King Fist has been feasting upon your kind for generations at this point. And honestly, right now, we're just waiting for an excuse. Well, that's a bit more unfortunate. But anyway, it should still be neutral. Actually, if anything, <laughs> you think King Fist has only been eating bugs? It's also been smashing rocks for generations. All right. GRS, get the down uh ooh swagger i'm gonna say no to swagger interesting option but i don't think i need it currently okay um also i don't think i ever did this because i swapped belly's sprite i don't think i shown the credit off to it yet yeah this is made this from the pokemon tcg but i think it was recreated by dr t time very very good pose honestly there's a lot of good uh bell sprout poses i highly recommend to check it out when now uh, you're playing the game number three all right what you got kid Oh, Ekans, there's a normal poison type, that's fine. Well, not not a normal poison type, it's just like a poison type. Um, if anything, this is no Butterball. I don't think King Fist can do much to you, especially after that Intimidate. And we can just side beam you down. Thankfully, we're not actually psychic, but you know, poison beam, poison beam, side beam. <laughs> so we'll start with P. Uh, Butterball doing their best. Alright, two more. Prepare for the bomb. Give it like an electrode? Let's go use explosion? The hell? Uh, rock smash? King fist up to 20. Ah, uh, fury attack. Nah, I prefer type coverage. I mean, fury attack plus... Oh yeah, you're definitely going to explode. That's right, you're electric poison. The pursuit is probably the only thing I can really do to this cough orb. Uh, any points I'm gonna use self-destruct? Assurance. I don't think you can really touch me too much. Alright, one more. Okay. Also, it's very weird seeing a coffin very, like, <laughs> smooth like that. Your technique, you didn't even get it off, girl. You're fine. Congratulations! You 
You be our five contest trainers. You're a fabulous prize. Here's your nugget, kid. Ah, oh, wonderful. By the way, we'd like to join Team Rocket. We're a group of dedicated to evil using Pokemon. <laughs> Want to join? Nah. Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Come on, you need some convincing. All right, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Ah, uh, yeah, sure you will. Grunt number 327. Oh, Elvis. Okay, well, you have a name. Um... Yeah, this is the same situation as last time. Let's switch out into Butterball. Um, let's see. Glare. That's going to paralyze us, which is mighty annoying. But... We can still side beam it down twice. We should do the trick. As long as we don't flinch. As long as we don't flinch. Thank you. Um, do I sack Butterball off? This next Mon. Uh, ooh, Air Cutter. Is that physical? It's special. Yeah, get rid of Gust. Silver Wind. That is Stab. But that gets rid of our Poison Shock Venom combo. Does have a chance to raise all stats. But I think I'm going to have to pass up on Silver Wind. Another side beam would have been good, but that's fine. It's poison flying. Oh, I should have. Well, you know what? You can still, you, you can still poison rats card if you wanted to. If he wasn't going to knock you out. But you know, if he were poisoned, that would have knocked out thanks to the guts boost, but that's fine. Yeah, that's it. All right. As we get our route. 24 encounter, which is going to be a Caterpie Oddish Fusion. Okay. Um, I think this will be our second Caterpie because we have Butterball. This is going to be our first Oddish. Okay. It should be fine. I could use the net ball, but I think I'm just gonna throw Pokeballs because you're a Caterpie and then Oddish, so. Uno, dos, tres. There we go. Got a Caterish. Don't know if I'll use you, but. Interesting nonetheless. Uh, so, this, so this specific one's made by Pig8 Cow. Oh, so this one by Retro Gamer. It's just the AI fusion one, I think. I think I like this one. This one's this one has some charm to it, but I, I like the use of just the bodies of both of them in this one. Uh Catarish, the weed worm Pokemon. Bug poison. One foot eight inches. Nine pounds. This Pokemon grows by absorbing moonlight. It releases a terribly strong odor from its antenna. Hmm. Stuff lucky up front. Look, you need some battle experience. My Raditz is different from regular Raditz. It's like a Raditz is the top percentage of Raditz or something. Oh, yeah, sure. What do you have a Raditz or Raditz fusion? Yep. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, you're actually kind of high level. Uh, let's mud slap you a couple times. Lower down the accuracy. What do we say? See, sure it's missed. It's already working. Perfect. Heraldita is the top percentage of Radices that miss. Mmm. Lovely. It's almost like Lucky's Lucky or something. Jesus Christ. Okay, can I just finish this with Water Gun at this point? Man, yeah, that, that is a Radita, alright? Top percentage, really. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a Radicate, so... Yeah, kid. Better luck next time. We're on Route 25 now. Oh. You're gonna see Bill first, let's fight. Okay. Uh, I'm leading with a bug flying type. This isn't good. Okay, Sandshrew is manageable, at least. Uh, I think I can just side wave that. But anything actually, I can probably just air cutter it because it's stab. It'll do more damage. Yeah. Ooh, the crit the crit definitely mattered there. I'm finishing off with a side beam. Is there a PP of my other moves? We are level 20 now. You're still poison type. Yeah, bye. 
Oh, well, that's by me. That's times four effective. Well, that's fine. Uh, we can swap into... Honestly, let's finish off the King Fist. Like, literally any bit of damage will just KO you. There you go. So I guess I might as well just keep on... Oh, Quick Attack's very unfortunate, because they keep on Rock Smashing. Maybe go for some Defense Drops. Um, oh, really? You're not going to Quick Attack again? Well, that's unfortunate, because you just got KO'd. No, I got to go back and heal. Oh, I'm after I got this item. Revive. Okay, that can be helpful when we're out in the field. Uh, when you're further away from Pokemon Centers, I'm thinking probably when we're traversing through that one cave. Elixir. Okay, so these what folks, this is why you always check rocks. Potion, again, while well, you always check the rocks. Well, nothing there, but potion and elixir. I, I see that's good. 2024, August 5th, Experiment 32. I will now test the effects of using DNA splicers on a human by using that on myself. This is right on. Experiment subject in 3, 2, 1. Mmm, that's no good. That's no good at all. Huh? What? You didn't see that, did you? Uh, okay, okay, I'll admit it. I was getting research on Pokemon Fusion, but I might have screwed up. I wanted to see what would happen if you combine the DNA of a Pokemon with a human. I know these claws are too big, and I can't operate this <laughs> cell separating system to turn myself back to a human. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I really need your help. How about it? Here, help me out. Sure, fine. I'm in the teleporter. Go to my PC and run the cell separation system. All right, all right. I will, I will. There we go. What happened to the ride on? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, but I owe you one. So you can see my Pokemon collection. You didn't. Well, that's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, maybe this will do. Ah, oh, SS ticket. Lovely. The cruise ship, the SSN, is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand the fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? I will, but uh, I'm going to check upstairs for you real quick, because I normally don't have an upstairs. Really? PC there. Some kind of artificial intelligence. Try not touch it. Mm. Okay, well, so there's nothing else here. Got the SSN ticket, so I guess it's time to fight Misty. I was thinking maybe I should confuse it with a Squirtle, but if I fused it with a Squirtle, then I would have to level it up, and that's. I just don't want to deal with that. Uh, you're just pure water, aren't you? At the very least, water ice. Very cool looking fusion, though. Freaking shoulder with the Krabby. Mmm, you're poison water. So that is neutral, but... That's fine. Poison seems also neutral on me, and I can't get poisoned. What I'm worried about is possibly whatever's fused with our star beam. Because that is going to hurt Ivysaur with its psychic type moves. Uh, sweet scent, now nah, we good. Um, let's actually switch rat guard up front, now that we're 23. Oh, you have to battle her before Misty, interesting. Starlet. Does it get some experience on Rats Guard? Because Rats Guard is very good just for neutral damage. 22, we got that down. Alright, let's go heal up. Then we'll go fight Misty. Okay, let's look at our items. Um, berries. Burn, defrost, restores a move, HP. Covers from confusion. I'm going to give that to you in case you get hit by a move and then suffer from confusion um, i'm also going to give oh no 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 no! i don't want to use i want to give you the citrus berry jesus um anything else here we're working with moonstone everstone berry gem Honestly, nothing, really. We don't have a fairy type move, so we can't really utilize the fairy gem. Okay. 
so switch Ivysaur up front. We still have a, don't have a name for Ivysaur, but it's not a fusion, so that's the reason why we don't. I might grab that Squirtle and try to fuse it with it, but we'll see. Alright, let's save. Make sure we don't lose, you know, any save data. Um, and then we're going to Poison Mushroom up Rat's Guard. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is all the offense water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty, is your host. <laughs> I'll let you use two Pokemon for the fight. Are you ready, sweetie? Okay, only two Pokemon. That's fine. Ivysaur, Rat's Guard, confirm. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, what am I working here with? Jigglydean. So, Goldine. So, that's Water Fairy. Interesting choice. I'm a Leech Seed you. I think at most I have to worry about Peck. That's fine with Prison Berry. That's why we had it. Unfortunately, we had to use it so early, but it is what it is. We'll just start Razor Leafing now. Horn Tax will do some decent damage, but we can heal it up, back some of it that way. There we go. Super Potion, that's fine. This allows us to heal back with some more HP, which would hopefully allow us to tank at least a move from this upcoming... Oh, it's just Staryu and Oddish. Okay. Can you be... Well, Mega Drain ain't really helpful, but yeah, okay. But you can at least be poisoned then. Really? No? It doesn't affect either, what the hell? It should affect you. Okay. That's... what typing are you? You can't be grass poisoning, that's the only reason why both wouldn't affect you. I think it's holding leftovers. Damn, I probably should have, like, taught Thief or something. I, I don't even know if I have Thief. Anyway, Hyper Fang. Easy gem. Very cool looking fusion, though. I can't believe it, I lost. Alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. Wow, you're too much. Alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. Yeah, I know. Okay. Cascade Badge makes Pokemon all up to level 30 obey. It even includes ones obtained in a trade. You also have my favorite TM, Water Pulse. Okay, that's a decent water type move. Um, also got a Wander Trade ticket. Well, you completely dominated this fight. Pure skills. Okay, yeah, well, I gotta go heal up my freaking Rats Guard now, alright. Mm-hmm. Special fruit, fruit for my travels. Yep, that's the city's badge. White flu. Okay, yeah, so it's the opposite one. I think this one increases, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, now see that now that's open. Um, fuck, what do I want to do? Oh, you come with Chlorophyll. Oh, that's a really good ability. What do you have? Okay, you also have Chlorophyll, never mind. We're good. I want to keep Belly just because it's, an evol it's a uh, trade evolution, so it's easier to grind up. A grass type for your Squirtle. Yup. Here's Oddish. Alright, so we have a Squirtle now. Um, I don't know, it's not going to be helpful for us for the next two gyms, but it can be helpful down the line, which is the reason why we have it. Uh, Pidgey! We don't have any Pidgeys, so you know what, we'll take it. Sleep Powder. Gus is a bitch, but... Oh my god, just... Uh, Belly, please hit the sleep powder. Belly, please hit the sleep powder. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's just throw a normal Pokeball. You're a Pidgey, I don't want to waste anything good on you. There we go. 
probably use you at some point during the grass gym in the next part. Oh, not the next part, but like two parts from now. Um, okay, so we have the normal one, we have this one, we have the Gen 1 one. Uh, let's do this one, which was made by Game Freak, but I'm assuming, be, uh, but I'm assuming it was recreated by JCOB800. So, use that one. Tiny Bird Pokemon. Normal flying type, 1 foot 4 inches, has an extremely sharp sense of direction. It can unairily return home to its nest. However far it may be removed from its familiar surroundings. Uh, start on the PC. No. Oh, Belly's evolving! That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Ah. Um, so the one my Game Freak, that one, pff, what the f- <laughs> Oh, that one's adorable! Uh, so just checking out all of these right now. Okay, I think, I, I really like this one. Apparently, I think the origination was Pokemon TCG and was recreated by Creamy Art. Giggity, either way, it's fucking adorable. So, uh, we're taking it. <laughs> Weeping Belt, the Flycatcher Pokemon, Grass Poison, 3 feet 3 inches, 14.1 pounds. At night, a Weeping Belt hangs on a tree branch with its hooked rear and sleeps. If it moves around in its sleep, it may wake up to find itself on the ground. We'll often lose things underground. Um, don't have cup, but I can't check those berry bushes. Oh, so this is Route 6, I think. So this is a new encounter. Well, that's a, that's a repeat. Four Rost Berries, Jesus. Two Oren, eh. Right, is this his new route? Yeah, route six. Alright, let's see what we get. Play something good. Already have Pidgey, already have Bellsprout. And we only get dupes if it's fused with something. A Meowth! Okay, I can make a Meowth work. Um, if anything, actually. Oh, well, uh... I should take base stats. I was thinking maybe fusing Persian with Raticate. Um, I'll throw a Great Ball. I'll, I'll, I'll use up a Great Ball on a Meowth. There we go. Let me go check Persian and Raticate's base stats. No, Raticate isn't all that, but Persian is pretty fast, and I know can hit hard. I'd have to think about that one. It it, it is pretty good, actually. Because I'm uh, that makes me above the 100 speed threshold, which is, can be pretty good. I still get access to Stab. Guts still boosting my attack, even if it is 70. I don't know, though. Because Raticate doesn't do much for, like, the head. You know? I'll have to wait and see. So yeah, oh wow, this one is so good. Uh, Game Freak and Toad 900. That one's also pretty good. Teddy O. Oh, that one's funny. <laughs> uh, we have these little studios there. That one. Mm. That one has. That one has so much sass to it. Going through all of them real quick. Oh, there's a lot for Meowth. Jesus Christ. I can make it look like Larian. Oh my god, this is still going. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go with this one though. Meowth is Scratch Cat Pokemon, 1 foot 4 inches, 9.3 pounds. Meowth withdraws their sharp claws into their paws to sneakily to silently sneak about. For some reason, this Pokemon loves shiny coins that are glittering with light. Um, store in the PC for right now. A nickname to the Meowth? No. Not until we fuse it with something. Let's just try to... I was going to say, let's try to get through this without... <sighs> running into that many people. 
If anything, I'll probably will... Oh, wow. Very flying. Okay. I was going to say, I will probably... Battle a lot of these people. Oh my god, because of the flying typing. Uh, I'll put you to sleep. As I was saying, I will probably battle a lot of these people off camera. Just to try to save time on today's video, because we still have to get through the entirety of SSN. And while, yeah, I would love to just be able to you know, fight everyone and show off everything. I just don't think it is humanly possible without having the video being majorly, like, expanded in terms of length. Because, like I said, I'd like to at least get, like, one gym done a day, roughly. So the next part, we'll probably be starting things off fighting uh, Lieutenant Surge, and then going through the mountains, uh, going through Dark Cave. We'll probably even do the casino if we have time. Um, how's this looking? I'm fine with this layout. Not a double battle though, so it doesn't really matter. Locally, Vermilion City's right here. We should be able to get one more encounter if we're lucky. Alright, let's talk around and see what we can find. So this is the Wonder Trade Center. I'll teach you the wonderful move. Alright, oh, the Wonder Trade Center! Um... We have a wonder trade we can do. Honestly, let's get rid of this Caterpie. So I feel like we already have our like one Caterpie fusion I'd want. So. Yep. Uh, well, we'll just trade this Caterpie away. See what type of fusion we get. Uh, Kiwi Kelly sends Pollux. The heck is that? Polywag and something else? Oh, no, no, no. That's right. This is the nickname. An Eevee Zubat fusion. Huh. Oh, Zubat's the head. Eevee's the body. That's not that good um because that's taking Zubat's HP while we're dealing with EB's they, they're taking it special Zubat's well Crobat in the yeah, end special stats and HP Ooh, we're probably not going to use you and I don't think we can unfuse you because you're a traded fusion I mean I guess we never tried Yeah, you can't fuse Pokemon trade uh, obtained by a trade. Huh. It's a fish for food, but I think it's more fun to keep them around as companions. This is good, Rod. I'll trade it with you for a Meowth. What do you think? No, but Slowbro for Meowth. Hmm. If you have fossils with you, you can take them to pretty Suda's museum and turn it into a Pokemon. Oh, well, I guess I could get my freaking Kabuto right now. Uh, I'll worry about that later, though. People love fishing. Do you like the fish? Sure. Thanks for the old rod. Oh, the Vermillion has a lot of aquatic Pokemon, so maybe we'll land a rare one. Um, I already have... Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so this is how I use registered moves, registered stuff. Uh, I'm playing on controller, so I had to... Okay, that's actually a lot easier. I don't have to go on my inventory every time for uh, the Black Flute. Uh, we already have Magikarp, so if we can fish up something besides Magikarp, that'd be real nice. Talked about potentially reeling in something rare, so we'll see. 
You know what? I'll take a tentacle. I fuck with tentacle. Uh, just sleep powder and then throw some pokeballs. That's a very nice bulky mon. Ooh. I have to look at Tentacool and Weeping Bells. Or in turn Victory Bells base stats. Because we could keep either the Water Poison or the Grass Poison while also... Um... Getting movesets from both. That could be good. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. So yeah, we have this one. I kind of like this one. Ooh, mm, we got the Toad School. <laughs> Little karate kick. Ooh, I really like this one. This one's made by In the Negative. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll go with it. One In by the Negative. The Bubbles is a very nice touch. Pretty cool. The Jellyfish Pokemon. Water Poison. 2p, 11 inches. 100.3 pounds. Jesus. That is a heavy bastard. Its body is almost entirely composed of water. It encases its foe with its two long tentacles and stabs the poison stingers at their tips. Oh, story on the PC for right now. Oh, I'm not nicknaming Tentacle right now. I'm good. It was Spiro Crochet for my Farfetch. Hmm. That could be good. Because that could potentially be a False Swiper. Also, that's why we check garbages, folks. I found this weird stone shining in the seashore early this morning. I don't know what it is, but you can have it. Sunstone. Okay. Uh, if we kept the oddish, we probably could have used that, but that's fine. We really want a Voltorb like that guy over there. We won't trade me, not even for a fancy execute. Will you trade me a Voltorb for my execute? Uh, I'll keep that in mind. I don't have a Voltorb, though. You have an Ekans for my Voltorb. Unfortunately, I don't have an Ekans. Damn, if I had an Ekans, I could have gotten an early Executor. Oh, not Exit. Well, I don't believe Stone. Hmm. Get a Voltorb for my Doduo. Hmm. I'm the chair of Pokemon. The I chair the Pokemon fan club. I've collected over a hundred Pokemon, like most trainers. I like my Pokemon to be purebred. No fusions for this old man. So did it come to be your? Yep, sure. Mm -hmm. Your your rapid dash, cute, lovely. Yep, mm -hmm. stunning. You love it. Hug it. Mm -hmm. Look at the time. Yep, bike voucher. Thank you for that. Ground gem. Okay, that could be good. Oh, hi there. All the way over there behind those rocks. Okay. Oh my god, are these all encounters? Okay, I just want to check all the rocks. Boss gave me a new one, so I guess you can keep that one. Alright, thank you. I think this actually break those rock smash for us, which is good. I'll just have to... Put away Squirtle now, and now we don't have to worry about, you know, teaching rock smash ever again! Yeah, this is Diglett's Cave. My first encounter in Diglett's cave is... Oh my gosh, it's a Diglett, guys! Look at the little Diglett! Anyway, sleep powder. Uh, bag. Or a great ball. If anything, this could be really good, because we might be able to fuse this with... our Squirtle and get a water ground type. Its only weakness would be grass. And it could be relatively fast while having... Last voice is special attack stat and HP stat. Um, <laughs> that is cursed. Uh, all the little winky face. Also, this one where it's like moving. Okay, I, I, I like the winky face. So, Unicorn Prince made this one. Good job. All right. Take like the mole Pokemon. The ground type. 
8 inches long, or height, it is 8 inches tall, I guess, 1.8 pounds. They glitch are raised in most farms. The simple reason is whenever they burrow, the soil is left perfectly tilled for growing delicious crops. Alright, store it in the PC. Don't give it a nickname, yeah. Okay, no, I don't want to deal with any more diglets though, so... You have, but you're not telling, alright. Used to go retrieve the fossil. I used it to go retrieve the fossil I left at Pewter City's gym. Oh, museum, whatever thing. Okay, that's right. That, that, that does indeed lead back to Pewter City. But I think for right now, I'd like. Was that one of the black and white people? We found an Ekans. I Meaning we could possibly get a Voltorb. And it doesn't seem that this Ekans is Intimidate, which would have probably been the only reason why I would have kept it. Hmm. Hmm. Go to the Great Ball. So we could use it to get Voltorb, and then we can use it, the Voltorb to potentially get... Um, I'm fine with this, but let's just see the other ones. Mm. Oh, that one's actually, that one, I, I, I like the little smiling snake. Oh, or, or Boros. Got that, got that. But I, I do like the one that uh, P. P. Gray made? Like is a snake Pokemon, poison type, 6 feet 7 inches, 15.2 pounds. It can curl itself in a spiral while it rests. This position allows it to quickly respond to an enemy from any direction with a threat from its upraised head. Um, no, I, 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 I don't want to give it a nickname, I'm good. Okay. So I could get a Voltorb, or Doduo, or I could just keep it the Atkins. Hmm, honestly grabbing the Voltorb might be a decent idea. So then that way we might be able to get something else from the area we usually get Voltorb from. We could do something like that. But I don't know. Hmm. I think for now though... So our Diglett's already level 22. Um, you know what? Let's even get one more encounter because sometimes when you go to the SSN, um, it changes the area. Yeah, see, see like this, this, this still says Vermilion City. Oh, what's this? Uh, French was meeting running lights. Why? This might miss the ship, on the other hand, I never miss anything. Oh, you have Swift? Eh. Only comes once a year. Oof. Okay, no, it just immediately goes to the SSN. In that case, um, let's combine our Squirtle and Diglett. And then add it to the team in replace of Lucky for right now. And switch train it up to get leveled with the party. Um, we want it to be like this. Yes. Also, where's my two bonds? They, they disappeared. Oh, the other fused bonds. You can't fuse a fusion with a fusion. Okay. <laughs> Leader of the Nugget Club. Nugget Cult made this. That is adorable. Squirtle, the mole turtle Pokemon, water ground, one foot ten point eight pounds. <laughs> Squirtlet, a race in most farms. Its round shape and the grooves on its surface minimize resistance in water, enabling Squirtlet to s swim at high speeds. Um, I think for right now, Torrent, and we'll go hasty so we can be a mixed attacker. Arena Trap could be good, but Torin, I think for right now, is pretty good. 
Combine the move sets. Replace with tackle. Um. Wow, we have access to bulldoze and magnitude. Oh, we can get rid of mudslap right now. With tail whip, we don't need tail whip. Water gun. Magnitude or bulldoze? Uh, I think I want to keep bulldoze and get rid of magnitude. Rock smash. Yeah, get rid of tackle. Oh wow, it's already like pretty much like on level. I didn't actually like use up that much. Obviously, we'll have to maybe wait a few levels for the squirtle part to be like evolved, but. Yeah, with how this works, we should have the speed of a Diglett, speed, defense, and attack of a Diglett, and the special attack, special defense, and HP of a potential Blastoise. Oh, the strong silent type, I see. Okay. The restaurant is full at the moment. You have to come back later if you want to eat here. Met you back Mount Moon some time ago. You're the kid I shared my fossil with. I never forgot the way you defeated me so easily. It was humiliating. I need my revenge, so I trade extra hard in case I ever ran into you again. And here you finally are! So I'll challenge you to a Pokemon battle. To make things interesting, I'll let you have one of these other fossils I found if you can beat me. What do you think? Sure! Alright, here I come. Uh, please don't be super high level. Please don't be super high level. Please don't be super high level. Call from her. Okay. Um, can I bulldoze you? Navitate, of course you are. Okay. Uh, water gun then? Really? Okay, I'm gonna use Sucker Punch. Okay, poisoned. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna swap out a Butterball. We can use a Psychic Tech move on you. Side Wave should be able to do the trick. Insurance is a bit annoying, but. There we go. Sorry, was Side Wave and Side Beam? Um, Ammonite's there. I got Poison Powder, Venoshock. Should do a decent amount. I'm fine living Butterball faint here. Oh, right, Rock Resist Poison. Well... Did I get a KO with Side Beam at this range? No, nowhere near. Well... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pretty good at OK KO with Squirtlet. I'm assuming I'll probably be I'm probably faster, so I can get some decent damage off of this. There we go. All right, all right, I'll show you. Okay, well, what do you have here? <laughs> you beat me again. All right, I'll get me a word. Which one of these fossils do you want? The root or claw? Oh. So bug rock. Or. Rock grass. Hmm, when we look at Credilli and Armaldo, see what we're working with here. Credilli. I think the root fossil, because the thing is, I can get Storm Drain, pass on the rock typing, and get rid of the water weakness. This with whatever it's fused with, or it can even just be a grass type and just be like a pure, like, fuck your water types, you know? Um, right, we're freaking poisoned all hell. Let's go heal. Oh, Squirtlet is evolving. You can get Warlet. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> uh, it's a Warlet. This is by, um... No Lessie? 3612? Well, it raised at most farms. The scratches on its shell are evident of this Pokemon's toughness in battle. The Mole Turtle Pokemon. Uh, got this item, Stardust. Okay, that's some stuff I can sell. Good, good, good. Um, I am curious. Is there any other sprites? No, it's just this one or... Okay, okay, okay. Well, only no less has made a sprite for it. So the one I think was the AI generated one. So let's 
Go down here. Out of the way, you're busy. Don't like peeling onions. Looking for a leftover crabby leg? Sure, ask the lady by the stove. I'm sure they have some leftovers. Mm hmm. Alright, let's actually go turn this before they cool down. Oh my god, this is, there actually is a time limit. Can I even make it in time? Okay, maybe. There you go. Oh, so good. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, thank you. Um, crab hammer. Okay. I don't have a Pokemon that can learn it right now, but that is a good move. Nothing there. Heck, that was some weird. No, 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 no. Let me. Look at the trash. Okay, nothing there. Fine, you're lucky. A Pokemon jumped out. Wait, what? This is the... Is this place different? This is the SSN, right? So this is... I think this counts as a separate encounter. I mean, I'll take a Trubbish. Obviously, we can double check this once, like... Everything's settled down. It's not a fusion or anything, but we can just throw a great ball while it's asleep. It's level 10. It's not that big, you know, big of a deal. Uno, dos, tres. There we go. Oh, okay. So we have this one by Kiwi Kelly. Wait, what's the difference here? Oh, I guess it was a Hyper Lash, but then Kiwi Kelly made it a bit more like rounder at the top. Also have Viva Clover. Oh my cute Kelly. Mm. I kind of like this one. This one's pretty cute, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Uh, Trubbers, the trash bag Pokemon. Poison type. Two feet, 68.3 pounds. The combination of garbage bags and industrial race caused the chemical reaction that created this Pokemon. Alright. Uh, store in the PC. Nickname? Nope. Well, it's evolving. It's a war trio? Oh my god, we're getting war trio. Watch out, Surge. Also made by, uh, no... No Lessie? 3612. Oh my god. <laughs> war trio, the more turtle. Water ground, 2 feet 7 inches, 61.5 pounds. Because the triplets are originally split from one body, they think exactly alike. The scratches on its chill evidence, yeah, the toughness in battle. Uh, Sand Tomb? Nah, we good. Ooh, free rare candy, I'll take that. Fuck, I was thinking I probably should have poisoned Rats Guard. It's fine. Hi, Blue. You were really invited. So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds of different Pokemon. Different kinds are everywhere, crawling all around the grassy areas. Oh, I'm sure I probably got some more up there with the amount of mods I've captured and fused. Uh, yeah, we're running with the Nidito. There's poison flying, which is a poison fighting. Do you have any items on you? No? Okay. Why did Horn Attack do so much? Chop a stab and high crit ratio. It should still okay. Well, heck, okay, that was a crit. Um, I'd like to the fury attack to stop. Please, please stop. Please stop. Jesus, I'm just gonna use deep again. You, you use a move that doesn't hurt me. Focus energy. No, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, we'll go for butterball again. This is the second time we fought them. Uh, we are a bit underleveled, but we should be fine if we just Psybeam. Didn't even heal you fully. Pathetic. Oh my god, it didn't even do anything. Fury attack missed! Yes! That's the RNG we're talking about. Double kick, that's fine. We resist that. There were bug and poison. 
uh, or the, the poison, not the bug. I, I don't think bug resists fighting. Water Ball gets a nice chunk of experience. Starbra. Water Psychic. I'm a Poison Powder, you? Okay. I'm gonna try to get some damage with Venom Shock, but we'll see. Unfortunately, we don't outspeed. Over, I could probably just switch. The switch to Rats Guard. So Water Ball can still get some experience. Because honestly, we probably should be evolving to a freaking Golbat soon. Hmm, well that's a bit unfortunate. Hyper Faint just still do quite a bit, so yeah. Cross Chop, I think that's gonna KO. Unfortunate for Rats Guard, but that's just fine. Because we can send out Ivysaur. It's just Razor Leaf. We don't really need to worry too much about you. Because you're not gonna really do much to Ivysaur. We resist your Cross Chop. Good shit. Which now allows us to set up on his Warmelian. Um, okay. Leech Seed. Rapid Spin is a bit annoying, but that's fine. As long as you don't have any Fire-type moves, we should be good. I also like the like Steam coming out of its tail instead of the freaking Fire. Because the freaking... Because the Water and Fire mixing to make the Steam. Very nice touch. I like to get poison powder off. Can my attack like not miss for like five seconds? Thank you. Now we're doing the double the dot. I don't think you have any fire type moves. Again, like, where's your fire coverage, mate? And my starter's just, you know, like, shitting all over yours, and mine isn't even, like, <laughs> like, fused yet. Yeah, I'm raising my mons. The hell? Speaking of freaking Golbat evolutions, Jesus Christ, we finally get to see what this thing looks like. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's so adorable! You have, like, the Butterfree patterns on its wings, but it's still, like... It's like, oh my god, that, that's so good. That's so good looking. I'm sorry, it is. Butterbat, like that butterfly Pokemon. <laughs> Bug flying. Four feet three inches, 95.9 pounds. It will feverishly suck the nectar from flowers that grow on certain cave vines. Should it become full, it will fall asleep immediately. Um, do you want to learn Ghost? Oh. Ew. No. Yeah. There's a cut master on board, but he's just a seasick old man, but cut is useful, so I'll be going now. Go back to Bill. Yeah, well. That's fine. Um very uh the music stopped, but that's should be fine. Whoa. Okay. Probably should have looked in there, yeah. Ooh, you feel sick? Yep, rub rub. So much better. See so cut technique. Have it. Thank you for HMO one cut. All right, we'll be leaving soon. So let's head the heck out of here. We got everything we need. We fought everyone. We actually go. Got to go check if Trubbish is an actual mon or not. All right, Pokemon PC organized and fuse. I actually want to check out this Trubbish. From the basement. Wow, well, not even SSN. From basement. Um, okay, so the Shrubbish, perfectly legal. We'll also have Ekans. Uh, what's your abilities we're working with? Sticky Hold, Shed Skin. Shed Skin actually ain't that bad. Hold up. Especially for, like, a bulky Mon. You get that on, that can just help us prevent, like, sleep, paralysis, burn... Be getting a poison immunity because of the poison typing. That could be really good for a Stallmon. 
Hold up. Let, 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 let me check some stuff. Uh, we'd have less defense, the same amount of speed. We'd have a slight... Wait, we'd go from 82 attack to 95. I think for right now... Well, let's see... Mm. Let's get Bulbasaur in here, or Ivysaur. Fuse. There we go. Okay. Um, so we have that or that. That looks cool, but we have to... We need the body to be Ekans, because that's where the speed and stuff comes through, so we gotta, we gotta use the snake body. See how this looks. Okay. By G D E I Jedi? Something like that. See, Ivians, the snake seed Pokemon, grass poison, four feet eleven inches, twenty one point eight pounds. An Ivian curls itself up in the spiral while it rests, spends more time lighting the sunlight, the bud will soon bloom into a large flower. Uh, we want Shed Skin, we want Adamant, confirm. Combine the movesets. Uh, honestly, I think we still keep, like, Ivysaur's moveset, but this just gives us Shed Skin. We do lose a bit of, like, defense, but we have, we're gonna end up, we're gonna end up having more attack, more, uh, same speed, yeah, just more attack, really. Everything else is about the same. So we're just losing a bit of defense for access to Shed Skin, so we can't be, like, burned or parried. And we finally have a fusion with our, our Ivysaur. Uh, obviously, we can change it up when needed. I guess I could have seen it how it would have been with Belly, but... I, Ivysaur has been with us for the longest. And I just want to make sure we got a fusion for it. However, I got a bit of grinding to do, as well as looking in the PC to see what other types of fusions I can do. Um, that was just the first one that came into mind. Um, but yeah, I think this is, today, this is the perfect spot to end today's video. We just finished up the SSN. We're about to enter the third gym. We'll be starting off the next video entering really well, uh, oh, that, 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 that. defeating Lieutenant Surge, going through Dark Cave, heading over to Celadon? Yes, Celadon. And maybe even just doing the casino there. Um, taking down the, you know, Team Rocket casino there. I uh, hope you all enjoyed today's part. I'm actually really enjoying the game, and we're actually starting to get a variety of mons. Um, I actually got to see King Fist to see when I want to evolve it. Yeah, we're probably not going to evolve it to level 43, so we at least have access to Poison Jab. But it's unfortunate, because I'm, I'm looking at the Generation 7 movesets, because I think that's where these move lists are coming from. If it was any other generation, we could evolve it right away. And just remember the moves later but yeah we're, we're still gonna probably have to wait a bit before we evolve uh king fist into you know into the nido king which would then gain us access to sheer force so you know we we have some potential power here i'm thinking the mons we're probably going to bring to the next gym are going to be rats guard trigun and ivians which i'll probably think of a nickname uh, before the next part starts, and you know, you'll be all updated what the name's gonna be then. But, uh, yeah, until next time, peace.